Hey, blessings everyone. This is Charmaine. Um, first time coming to see us. How has it been so far? Great. Great. And actually, her good friend, her bestie, was here a few days ago. We had a ball. <laughs> The shenanigans was real. So anyway, Charmaine is full of the disrespectfulness and the inappropriateness. Look at, oh God. <sighs> it's bringing tears to my eyes. <laughs> it is disrespectful, totes, inappropriate. It is very inappropriate and I love it. <laughs> I like the size. I love everything about this. She walked in here with healthy hair. The good thing is that I'm assuming that's why she kept her looks pretty authentic and not like twisted up too tight and thinning here. She happens to be Yadi, Jamaican, <laughs> right? <Yes. laughs> she Yadi, so I know she like, mm -mm, not in my country, you don't be doing all that, all that foo foo thing with me here. <laughs> all that too much thing with me here. And just leave it, right? So I really love this. I love her grace, nice and silvery, right? But um, beautifully, mind if I turn them to see you? Beautiful hairline, beautiful, it's perfect. If I had one bad thing to say, and it's not even a bad thing, she, you know, people do it. Um, when Jimmy was washing her hair, um, some white creamy stuff came out, and uh, Jimmy said it because we've been doing this for many, many years, so we know he said most likely she's using conditioner, and she was. Again, my videos are for people, and my my clientele are for people. There are two types of people in the lock community: the ones who want that neat, perfect look, and wants to use every product and that is fine at the end of the day that is your choice do not be ashamed of it i'm not shaming anyone that is your choice right please find a loctician that does that some of the locticians works i've seen oh my god these women and men are talented and i'm not saying that with sarcasm right i mean that they are talented and then there's me <laughs> I'm the one who if i did the kind of work some of these locticians did or do Jimmy and I will be millionaires, but I can't, it's not how I was brought up in the lock, you say lock community being Rasta, that's not how I was brought up. I more go for the organic, authentic look where the clients who come to me, after they see our videos, they're like, listen, Yanni, I just want healthy hair. I don't want it pull up, style up, I did that, or I don't want that. I just want it flowing, right? It's rare we find a client, once in a blue moon, we find a client like her, who walked in with a head of healthy hair. A lot of people we see, they really need our help. They're dealing with a lot of damage from the stuff they've been doing with their hair or having been done to their hair. So she was using conditioner, as I told her, and I'll tell you guys, for those who want to go with a more organic, authentic look, um, conditioners is not made for over here. I don't care what nobody say, it's not, it's not, it's not. People with loose natural perm or whatever, they put conditioner, any type of conditioner, whether you're making your own conditioner, or whatever you put it in your hair you don't like it or whatever you start up in the shower you can comb it out once we put that in our hair because it's residue based it's going to stick to our hair i don't care how much you rinse and wash and all of that it doesn't come out it takes forever to come out especially if you're doing it repetitively okay conditioners are not made for people with locks I don't care what nobody say, and I will stand by that. The day you show me a VO5, Panty Pro V, all this, um, Fritizzi, all these commercials, and you see somebody like her or me or you with locks here blowing in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, I'm like, ooh, I use Pantene Pro V, and this is how my locks look. Then I will recant what I said and I will apologize and say, oops, I fucked up. There's conditioners for over here, and I still wouldn't believe that crap. There's no conditioner up over here. I'm not supposed to use it, okay? Besides, when we put conditioner over here, you ever notice when before you started Lux, the Lux was, um, when the hair was loose natural or whatever, you put the conditioner, your hair feel nice and smooth. That's a residue that is coating every strand to prevent your Lux, your, sorry, your strands from tangling up, all right? Condition meaning it takes it here from one condition to the other, right? Meaning it's all matted and you put conditioner, that's why they say leave in and comb through. Uh, well, hair is formed from tangle hair. So you're defeating the purpose of locking your hair, okay? That's it in a nutshell. So my question today is, what do you put in your locks? Leave your comments. What is your regimen? For my clients, when they see me, like she's been experimenting on oils, for the ones who do listen to me, I nip that crap in the bud. And for me, I tell them, stop experimenting and shit. Stick with one oil, <laughs> but I want to hear what you guys have to say. I'm really curious about this. 
and don't be ashamed i don't care what even if you're using mud i just want to hear it and let's not shame anybody for using whatever they want to use i'm just my clients are different because they're under my <laughs> my my strict watch okay so what is your regimen with your oils or your products are you using souffles are you using um what do you call it different oils how many oils are you using be honest leave your comments and i want to go through that and just be amazed because i know some of you have oh in fact some of you have been my clients through the years i remember years ago i met this lady um Charmaine. when she came her hair had this odor and not a hygiene odor. This woman is, phew, I did a video on her actually. She could be a supermodel. This is a beautiful, immaculate lady. Her hair itself had a woody smell, like, like medicine-y. Mm -hmm. And she was like, you know, I've been using these oils and by the time Jimmy was washing her, the water was coming out like milk. Mm -hmm. Just from oils. None of them were creams or waxes, just oils. So I told her, so when you get home, send me a picture. <laughs> Meaning... Send me sing what is it? Yeah, singular one picture. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought she would send. Girl, this lady got home. She had so much oils, she had to bring the pictures of in three parts. Oh wow. True story. True, true story. Simone, it's you. You know who you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we miss you by the way, Simone. I hope everything is well with you because I know she watches my videos. And beautiful lady. When I saw I couldn't believe her age. Um, mature sister, she looked like she was 25. Beautiful, flawless skin, like something out of a magazine. But her hair, and it wasn't smelling bad, though that's not what I'm saying. It just had, because I have a strong sense of smell, I can smell everything. It just had a smell of a lot of stuff at once. And she said when she went home that day, her fiance was like, your hair smell good. It's my told I said, when you go home, I want to change your pillow. I don't care if you, you changed it the day before, but last night you slept in the change your pillowcases, change everything. Mm -hmm. And her fiance complimented her. He said, smell, smell. Like he didn't have words to describe the difference. My point is this. When we put all this stuff in our hair, it stays in our hair, okay? You do not have to use a bunch of oils. Stick with one that you like. Everybody, if you know me well enough, how oh, that feeling good? Good. Right. <laughs> She's like, good. <laughs> Stick with one oil you like. If you know me well enough, you know my go-to oil is castor oil. If you're allergic to castor oil, of course, use something as a not Jamaican black. Just plain, odorless, colorless castor oil. Take a deep breath. How oh, that feel? Good. It's called a yank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it helps with in blood circulation. Let's give you here a pull and set it back. That helps with blood circulation. It's a very relaxing thing. Feel good, right? Yeah. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> the yank. If you have a migraine, that's a good thing to let your king do. Just don't snatch your hair like you're making love and not that. <laughs> <laughs> don't do the rough thing. You know, the honey grab my hair and spank me. Not that. That's a different another time. This is for the migraine. Get a slight yank like <laughs> Alright. Okay. Separate the two. Okay, right. right. <laughs> don't be. <laughs> no, these men just get carried away. I don't think what's wrong with Oh my god, yeah, they got like no fucking filter. She just says, Because <laughs> you tell them, yeah, you're here. Next thing, you're like, pow! On the ass. Like, no, sweet. I really had a headache. I just wanted you to do. Yanni showed me this technique. <laughs> you're like, oh, okay, you should have been saying that. All right, guys, leave your comment. Let me go lock her here really quick and I'll show the after. So disrespectful. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. That's your natural color. Uh, some, some, okay. Okay, guys, we are done. Her hair is beautiful. See, I was telling her, I do, I personally, at the end of the day, please, you guys do what works for you, okay? If you like a certain look, by all means, you have the money in your pocket, find the person that gives you the look you're looking for. When it comes to me and what I like and what I like with my clients, is that sorry it's my um thing yeah is that i i personally why one of the reasons why i don't use gel one besides the most obvious at least build up in your hair i do not like locks in that slick down every strand in place i like to see again it's how i was how locks look when i was growing up i still keep that old school authentic look right where clients just that's it it's just locks it doesn't matter whether it's twisted palm roll whatever 
It just looks like this. There's no trimming. If you guys can see, her fuzzies are still there, right? She was doing her own hair for a while because she started a lot during the pandemic and the beginning of the pandemic. So her hair grows pretty fast. And I like the fact when I asked her, I said, how often were you doing it here? And she said, like every three months or so, I said, perfect. That's why her locks hasn't thinned out. Okay, overdoing it here. You guys always hear me say that. And you know I'm repetitive. Doing it here too often is going to thin your locks out. All right. I always give clients, new clients, on a scale of 1 to 10, what, how healthy their hair is. She's <laughs> effing 100. This is some healthy ass hair. <laughs> right? This, I don't know what else to say. This is some healthy hair. And she walked in with this. I didn't do this. All right. Um, she's going to stick with one oil. When I'm done taping this, I'm going to tell her the oil I wanted to use and how often, which is not often. This is genetic, right? That's another thing that plays a huge role in the health of our hair, genetic, all right? Um, so she's not going to oil her hair very often, like once a week is enough for her in the winter. And in the summer, she could spread it out because in the summer, we tend to sweat more, which is good. It's not bad. And you, you, have, you, you secrete a lot more oils. And people think it's a bad thing, so they're overwashing your hair and stripping their hair of all that natural oil your body is naturally producing. Okay? And um, that's it. So leave your comments. Tell me what. Be honest with your answer. Don't go with what you think. Oh, I'm just going to tell Yanni I use this oil because she only like one oil. No, no, no. I want to hear. Like, what oils are you guys putting in your hair? Are you making your own concoction? Um, making your own combination of oils like if you're somebody into natural herbs and natural oils so you have your own products go ahead post it post it all please go ahead all right you have my permission post it all and if you do have um some type of natural hair product that you want to post it doesn't have to do with locks or skin product i know a lot of um people are business owners follow me or subscribe i hate to, i hear the word follow don't follow anyone <laughs> just subscribe please post your link go ahead post it i will not delete it or anything post your link post what you do knock yourself out okay um and that is it healthy how does it here feel queen it feels great it feel good yeah good we was jamming to some <laughs> wicked old school old school reggae yes. and dance hall from back in we old school days some some capel turn and shabarangs and buju banta exactly. all right old we're not talking i don't i don't listen to no no new school dance hall i still i was born in the 70s so i still listening to old school reggae and old school dance hall right and um so we're having a good time hopefully we would see her again but this is healthy all right guys stay tuned for more videos leave your comments i love you guys remember the next time we are in georgia i'm not taking any i don't know when i'll post this video by the way today is the 26th and um the next time we are we come to georgia will be in april so sorry i'm not taking anyone right now but in april i will i will post the dates when i start taking new clients and we are changing location we are moving not we we still live in jersey the business is moving to atlanta so i'm excited <laughs> super excited after nine years at the same location we're moving to atlanta stay tuned for more videos guys how you here feel good it feels awesome. Yeah, your, your hairline, turn to the camera a little bit so we can see your hairline. Lean forward like you're looking on your toe. Wow. You're, you're beautiful. Yeah, that gorgeous. is an effing perfect hairline. Perfect. If you could sell hairlines, you and I could go into business together so that we could make money over. If you could sell, like give your hairline to people, like you touch them and they got the hairline and then you grow it back. Listen, we gonna be, you and me gonna be rich. I gonna market hairlines like she got hairline for days and I'll market Jimmy eyebrows. Listen, book of money, book of money 2023. I sell hairlines and eyebrows. We gonna be lit, girl.